Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get a custom cursor on Roblox. So as you can see, my cursor right here that I'm circling around, this is the automatic cursor for Roblox. However, you might be tired of it and you might want to change it to a custom cursor that you have. So if you want to do that, then I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. So just follow along to my steps and you'll be able to get a custom cursor in just less than five minutes. So first things first, you're going to want to go to your browser any browser that you want to use doesn't really matter which one and you want to go to the search bar and search for you want to search for free cursors download so once you go to free cursors download uh i use icons 8 but you can probably use any of these websites right here but i would suggest using icons 8 now once you go to icons 8 you're going to be brought to this page right here where you can search for anything that you want any icon that you want as you can see it automatically brought me to the cursor uh, page but let's say you want something like a cross hair for roblox uh cursor then as you can see it brings up a ton of crossers you can download any of these that you want you just click on the one that you want and there should be an option to download it right here now once you find the crosshair that you want i'll just use this one right here once you find it you want to click on the download option right here once you click on that there's going to be a couple options here but you want to click on the custom size and you want to go to 64. Now, once you do that, you want to turn on the custom size, turn off that option right there, and you click download. It's going to load for a bit, and it'll download your uh, cursor. So once you do that, you can just close out of that. You can uh, open it up in the downloads. So as you can see here, if I go to my downloads, it shows up right here. I drag it out, and I have my cursor. If I open it, as you can see, it's the, Roblo the, the cursor that I just downloaded. So once you have it, you're going to want to right-click on the desktop, and then you're going to want to click new and then create a folder and just name it Roblox cursors or something like that. And then it doesn't really matter what the name is, but you want to put it into the folder. Then you want to copy it and then you want to paste, paste it back into the folder. As you can see here now, there's two of them. They have to make sure that it's the 64, uh, six, the, the dimensions are 64 by 64. But once you do that, you can uh, minus that. You're going to need to come back to it later but you want to search for roblox in your search bar right here and once you search for roblox you should be a, see an option for roblox player now once you see that you want to right click on it and then you want to open the file location so once you click on open file location it will bring you to this page here here you want to rope right click on it again and you want to open file location once again once you do that it will bring you to this page here and on this page you want to look for the content option once you find that file, just click on it. It will bring you to this page. And from this page, you want to look for textures. Once you find the textures file, click on it. It will bring you to this page here. Here you want to look for the cursors file. If you can't find it, find it then you can just search for it in the search bar up here. But as you can see, I can see it right here. So just click on that file once you find it. Now on this file, you want to look for the option that says keyboard and mouse. This option right here. Once you find it, you should be able to click on it. It will bring you to this page here. Now as you can see, there's two arrows right here. Uh, and then there's this beam cursor that one doesn't really matter these are the two that you are going to replace now if you want to replace it what you have to do you have to take the names of these two and paste them into the names of the two that you just downloaded so you would click on this and then you click rename you copy the arrow cross it, uh, cursor and you'd rename, rename one of the crosshairs arrow cursor once you do that you want to rename the other cursor and copy that and then you want to rename the second cursor and put that into there now once you do that you just want to you just want to delete both of those then you click continue once you delete them you just want to drag these two into this now once you do that as you can see they are now inside of that and it should now work so if we head over to roblox and we'll, let's say we join the game real quick it's going to take a little bit of time to load but once it does it'll just let us join the game and it should start the game should start there we go it's starting right now and once it starts it'll just bring us into the game so just have to wait for that there we go we're joining the game and as you can see the new crosshair is you can see it right here this is what it looks like so that is the that is the crosshair right here as you can see it looks a little bit big so if you want you can resize it by uh or changing the 
uh, choosing a different crosshair because this one just had a really big one in general. You want to make sure that the, the dimensions are still 64 by 64. But other than that, if you just uh, choose a smaller crosshair, then it will look a lot better. But that is how you change your crosshair to a custom crosshair in Roblox. So I hope this video is helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate a like and subscribe. If any questions you have in the comment section below, I'll do my best to answer them. And I'll see you guys next time.